everyone, uh, I'm going to do a review today and it's the review I've been wanting and hoping to do for quite a while now but I've had to wait until I've managed to get everything you need to do it which I've now got so you can see obviously in the title bar above what this is going to be but this is going to be Road Season from uh, Transformers Victory and he's made up of three um, individual robots and I think this was the first combiner to use only three robots I think there's only one other actually that uh, in existence and that's that rail racer I think it is but yeah this was certainly the first one because normally combiners there would be five or six so this is the first one to use three and they are in numerical order because all Japanese uh, toys were had the uh, the numbers numbering system and the first one is this is blacker and he's the uh, leader of the uh, brain masters and you see you've got the uh, the main toy and some artwork here and then over here on the far side is his brain master and that's the the gimmick part of the figure and then next up we have Laster, and again, very similar. You'll notice on this one actually, um, over here, this the Takara logo is different on this box to the other two, and that's because this is actually this one is a China um, market version, not a knockoff or anything like that. Um, it was just released in the Chinese market, uh, whereas the other two are from Japan. And last of all, and this is the one that was um, I was waiting to get before I could do this. And this is Braver. And again, you can see now the um, the logo, the Takara logo. This side is different to Lasters, and this because this is a Japanese market one. I say these they're they're all official products. They're just released in different markets, like you get today with the European packaging is different to the American packaging, and you know stuff like that. So yeah, that's the that's the that's the three toys in their boxes. Um, it's taken me about ooh, about four months, I think, to get hold of all of these three guys. Um, I'd say they're from Transformers Victory, which was the very last cartoon of the G1 kind of era. And these this was a Japan only series, um, so these toys never got released outside of Asia basically so they're pretty hard to get hold of so um, yeah let's get them out of the boxes and have a look okay so let's start with um, Blacker again and here he is in his vehicle mode it's like a um, dune buggy type thing some nice spike tyres some nice chrome on his engine there and so yeah he's quite a nice little uh, chunky dune buggy and then if you open the cockpit up his brain master can sit inside there and then you also get uh, you get some accessories with each of them which is basically the, the combiner kibble which sort of doubles up in their vehicle modes um, first of all you get the uh, it's like the chest piece and this fits on top there we go that just fits on top like so and then on top of that we have also he's got a gun and this is also the uh, I'll just show you quickly this is also the head of Road Caesar these two bits fold down and this pops up and there's Road Caesar's head but yeah in this mode it's a gun and that fits into a couple of holes just on the top there and then so this is like his attack mode as it were it's not too bad um, it's better than the other two um, you'll see when I get to those but yeah this is it's not too bad um, so let's take him to robot mode let's take that cable back off Out because we're going to need that in a minute. There we go. 
Okay, so here we are. Very, very simple transformation on these. You can see he's almost pretty much transformed as it is. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull the legs down. And then just split them slightly. There we go. And then this top bit just folds back. And then his arms come forward. And that's basically it. Um, so it's very simple. And the, the reason these are, they're all very simple in, um, in robot mode. And it's because of this kind of area, this chest area here is dominated by the, the gimmick, um, which I'll show you now. And this piece just opens up. And then you take the Brain Master figure and he just pushes inside so he stands in there like that. And then as you close it up, there we go, it fills in the face. Um, so yeah, it's very similar kind of in a way to um, Headmasters I suppose, just done in a slightly different way. Um, so yeah, that's his robot mode and then you can put the accessories back on him again. Um, so this just pegs into his arm. Uh, just in, where are we? Just in there. And that's kind of, then it, in this mode is a shield. And you can hold his gun. Like so. Or it also comes with it comes with a sword. And so you can hold that instead. And they sort of in the show they used the, the swords more often than they used. They didn't really use guns, I don't from what I can remember anyway. Not in uh, robot mode anyway, they may have, maybe in car mode a bit more, but it was normally the sword in robot mode. Um, so yeah, that's Blacker, and he was the um, the leader of the three Brain Masters, and he was um, he sort of featured a lot more in in the cartoon than the other two, um, sort of on his own quite a bit in a few episodes, and he was like the second in command um, under Star Saber, so he was you know he's quite a, quite a strong, powerful leader, but um, he's quite patronising and. Quite, you know, doesn't have any sort of sense of humour or anything. He's got looks down on a couple of the, sort of the younger ones, like the Multi Force and and the guys like that. But he was a very good fighter in the show. You know, there wasn't any sort of Destrons or Decepticons, where you where we want to call it Destrons is what they call it in the show. There weren't really any that could individually could stand up to him, um, other than probably Deseret, I suppose. But but yeah, so he's a pretty strong guy. Um, so we'll put him to one side. And we'll go on to the next one. Okay, and next up we have Laster. Here's a nice uh, Lamborghini with some sort of flame decals on the side and on the front there. And a nice Autobot logo as well. Do you want to zoom in? No. Oh, there we go. And again, just like Blacker. Can lift the cockpit up, and inside is his brain master, and he's got nice wheels that roll nicely, rubber tyres. All of these have got rubber tyres, actually. Um, so yeah, uh, and as I said before, they all come with a bit of um, accessories in this mode. Um, yeah, this piece fits on the top. Like that, and then this piece, which is one of the fists for Road Caesar, it's on there as well. Yeah, um, mm, a bit kibble tastic, really, isn't it? Um, not particularly great looking. Although they did, they did have this in the show actually on their um, on their vehicle mode, so it is kind of show accurate. It's just. It looks a bit sort of busy, shall we say. Not a great fan of that. Um, take that off. But yeah, without it, he's a very nice looking car, I think. So let's transform him into robot mode. Let's take the brain mask out again. Just over there. Okay, so this is, again, you can see he's going to be a fairly simple transformation again. 
and the first thing you do is split the legs a bit and they fold around and there we go. like so and then the hood this is a bit stiff there we go pops back and then the arms come out and then on these on this one the um, fists are just sort of in just in there and they just pop out pull them around like so and yeah that's that's him pretty much transformed and um, we just need to do his brain master gimmick so again we open that up bring back the brain master place him in there like so and then close it up and his head pops up into place let's see if we can get a better close up of that I'm going to zoom in no it doesn't want to does it but uh, yeah I think this is probably the this this one I think is the nicest of the three um, I think he's definitely got the best best head sculpt um, and then we can put his accessories on him now you can use this as a gun but mm, again it doesn't look that good really so I tend to keep that off him now this piece um, yeah it goes up that way doesn't it fits on the arm again like a shield There we go, so that's a shield. And then he has in his other hand, just like blacker, he has a sword. Go on again, it's uh, very tight this one. Alright, there we go. And there we go, that's blacker in. No, not sorry, blacker, that's Laster, sorry. Getting confused already. Um, yeah, so this is Laster in his robot mode. And um, he didn't really feature much in the show. Um, he was kind of a bit more prominent in the first couple of episodes. Um, he invented some device, I can't remember what he did, um, that sort of saved the day in one episode. But then after that he kind of kind of took a back seat to the other ones. That's actually zoomed in there, so you have a better look. Um, yeah, he kind of took a back seat and was just—he was kind of always there, but never really um, did a lot, really, unfortunately. You know, which is a shame because I think he's the uh, certainly um, looks-wise, I think he's the best of the three. But yeah, so there we go. That's uh, that's Laster. Yeah, so they're a bit—they're all a bit kibbly with this bit on the back, but what can you do? There's nowhere for it to really go, I mean this is a, a G1 figure after all and I mean that sort of articulation wise the usual movement of arms a little bit and his, his legs kind of move around a little bit outwards but yeah this is G1 that's about all, all you're going to get really so yeah that's Laster and so we'll uh, move on to the last one now Okay, so last of all we've got uh, Braver, and uh, he's a, I think it's a Ferrari, that's what it looks like to me anyway. Um, there are some more stickers actually to go on this, um, but I haven't put them on, because um, he was actually, this one was actually sealed when I bought it, um, and he's got a sticker set. Last, uh, I don't have the stickers for, so when they're combined it, it doesn't quite work if I've got one side of the legs all stickered up. And um, not the other, so I've just I've left the stickers off for now. But yeah, he's a nice, another nice little car. They're quite chunky, actually. These cars are a lot bigger than the, um, the sort of original Autobot cars. And I haven't got anything around as a size comparison, unfortunately, on that front. But there we go. You have to take my word for it. But yeah, and again, just like the other two, open up, and there's his Brain Master inside. And um, <clears throat> he gets accessories exactly the same, actually, as um, 
as last time. Again, this piece except it's coloured red. And that fits on the top. And the fist piece. And there we go and again. I don't really like this, to be honest. Um, it's too chunky. In the in the show, it was sort of slimmed down and a bit sort of more low profile. And I mean, this is nearly like doubles the height of the car. So it just it's too big. Um, it's nice that they were trying to be show accurate with it, but yeah, it looks it looks better. Um, it looks better without it, I think. So yeah. So we'll uh, transform him again. So again, let's get the master out. Okay, and he he's exactly the same transformation as um, Laster. So we just separate the legs, fold them down, and then pull the hood back, pull the arms out, and then. And these are really tight, these fists, because I said this was still sealed when I got him, so he's basically brand new. And I, oh, it always feels like I'm going to break it when I do that. But there we go. I just need to do his brain master. So we'll open it up. And put him in. Actually, one thing I didn't show you with the other two is the the little brain master. Are you going to zoom in? Uh, it's not going to zoom in, is it? Um, actually looks like a miniature version of the full size robot um, yeah maybe I'll take some pictures at the end and, and stick a picture of all, all three little brain masters because it doesn't want to zoom in very well on that but yeah they they like they look like very tiny versions of the um, of the main robot so I'm not sure actually if um, if these are like this is the actual robot and they control the bigger robot or whether it's two individuals merging together, or I don't, I don't know what the backstory is. I don't know which, which sort of option of the sort of various continuities they use for that. But anyway, let's let's finish off the transformations. So put the brain master in and close this one. Always oh, done holds around for some reason. And there we go. And there's his head. So yeah, he's quite nice as well. I quite like this one. I say out of the out of the three, I think Laster is probably slightly the better one, and then this is the next best one. I think Blacker is um, probably the worst looking of the three. Um, he's also a bit shorter, even though he's supposed to be the leader. Um, so that's a bit odd, but that's because just the way he transforms um, means he hasn't got very long legs, whereas these all unfold. Um, so let's just put these. Accessories on him again, and again, this piece plugs into the side like a shield. And where's his there? He is. And he again has a sword, and that always wants to fall down. But there we go, there he is. I say he's quite nice. I quite like that. Again, it's quite a nice face on this one with the with the visor rather than eyes. And again, we've got this big piece of car hanging off the back, and just very limited articulation. And the legs sort of move outwards a little bit. Nothing spectacular. But again, it's a it's a G1 figure. You're not going to get any more than that. Um, and say so in the show, Brable was kind of like the mad scientist inventor type character. Um, he made sort of a couple of inventions throughout the show. A brain, I think, a brainwave scanner that detected when enemies were near and and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's all three of them then in their individual robot modes. Um, so they're okay for, as far as G1 characters go. They, you know, you're 
there are better ones but you know these are still quite nice I think but um, I mean the real reason you get these is to form road Caesar now, let's put this to one side now for the combined mode um, I'm not gonna do it exactly how I've done just step by step take you through it now if you're familiar with with the victory cartoon you know that it was um, the transformation sequences were quite sort of elaborate and they used a lot of stock footage but they were quite elaborate and sort of made especially with the music in the background as well made to sort of sound quite epic when sort of big robots combined and, and things like that so what I thought I'd do I thought I'd do the, the the combined form in a little bit of a different method so as a homage to the victory cartoon we're gonna do it like this And so here he is in his combined form. And I think this looks absolutely superb. Um, with his, you've got the chrome on the chest here and the, the really cool head sculpt. Let's get a close up of that. There we go. That is cool. That is really cool. And this is the, the piece that was um, fitted on top of Blacker in his attack mode. That's now the chest piece. What I do like as well is his sword, his big sword here is actually um, the three smaller swords combined into one big one. So that's really cool. And then these are the pieces that were um, fit on, on top of the vehicles for the attack mode. So they now form the shins and the feet. Um, yeah, he's pretty damn awesome, I think. Um, Really glad I got this guy now. Um, took a lot of effort and a lot of money, but I think that speaks for itself, really. I mean, there are, he's not perfect, don't get me wrong. I mean, you've got bits of car hanging off there, and the hips are quite wide, really. Um, yeah, he's got child bearing hips there, really, hasn't he? Um, and the hands, are, and the arms, rather, are a bit. They're a bit stubby, but you know, come on, it's Road Caesar. How good is that? Absolutely brilliant. Now, would I recommend this figure to anyone else? Wow. I think it really depends if you're a, a fan of Victory or not, um, because if you if you're going to try and get these, they're going to cost you a lot of money. Um, the last time I looked on eBay, the complete set, they, they came um, in two methods. Um, there's the, the individual boxes like I've got, or they do um, also come as a gift set in, in one big box of all three. And that normally goes on eBay for, well, the last time I saw it, it went for about £450, I think it was, but I've seen some go for over £500. Um, so yeah, you're talking a lot of money if you want to pick this guy up. But the, I mean, these guys—I I thought these were the, some of the best characters in the show, and I—I I really enjoyed Victory. I thought Victory was really good. It had a sort of really epic feel to it, towards especially towards the end. Um, it was just—I thought it was brilliant. So yeah, these are some of my favourite guys from the show. So for me, this was well worth picking up. Um, all the individual pieces to eventually form this guy. Um, you could, I suppose, if you if you're not so keen on this combined form, um, these did get a European release um, as the motivators, and they were um, slightly recolored, um, not massively so, but slightly recolored. But they don't come with all the combiner pieces. They all they came with was the um, swords and the the brain masters, obviously to form the faces. But there was no chest piece and there was no head, 
and there's no feet pieces, so you can't you can't merge them unfortunately into um, into this guy. But if you do like the individual robots, um, you'd be able to pick up the motivators for probably half the price that um, these guys are going to set you back. But say if you're a fan of Victory, definitely, definitely worth getting eventually if you can if you can stretch to the money. Um, I'm glad I got him. It's cost me a lot of money, but I'm re I was quite happy to pay that to get this guy. And I say I've never completed a combiner before. This is the first time I've actually managed to get a whole combiner. Normally I'd get like one or two limbs or the main body and that's about it. So I've never had a fully combined uh, gestalt before. So yeah, that makes me even happier. So yeah, that's... Um, pretty much it. If you don't know where these guys are from, if you've not seen Victor, I, I definitely recommend you watching the show. It's really good. Um, I would say watched a subtitled version, not a dubbed version. Um, dubbing is usually horrendous. But yeah, definitely watch the show if you haven't. Watch out for the really, really bizarre ending credits though. What that was all about, I do not know. But yeah, so this has been my Road Caesar review. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully see you again sometime for some more reviews. Ah. Uh -huh.